Hey fellas, today we're gonna to be talking about eating better using the grown man's grocery list inside of an air fryer. You don't have an air fryer? <laughs> Get a grip. No, literally. My air fryer has a grip on it. We talked about that grown man's grocery list before and that's where you're getting all the energy you can from live plants. So how can you get the best taste, the best benefits out of it using the air fryer? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Because as a sexual performance coach with African Fly for the past 22 years, it's always coming down to what you do every day. You eat. <laughs> so if you're going to eat, what can you do to make it taste better? Well, we wanna talk about that. Specifically, the benefits of using an air fryer, and that's a bunch of them, and the reasons why you don't wanna use just regular fryer and you know what happens when you're using a, 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 a regular oven as compared to using an air fryer. And not only are we gonna talk about what foods taste good, I'm gonna do a demo. <laughs> you're gonna see your uncle cooking. And of course, if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell so we get some more of this information to you. And of course, what I always do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, well, what is an air fryer? Well, let me introduce you to my little friend. We about to use my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing that an air fryer is, is not an oil fryer. <laughs> and I know some people, especially restaurants and that one auntie that can do only things by frying it, will tell you, oh, this is the best way to eat the food. The science does not back it up. Health claims don't back it up. You need to switch things up. And the thing I like about air fryer, it allows you to get more creative with the foods that you wanna eat, the foods that will give you more energy. And as always, as I always talk about eating live foods, it's gonna give you so many benefits, especially what with, with, with we're talking about in terms of getting more testosterone. And in many ways, the air fryer can help you with weight loss. If you're eating a lot more fried foods, you're actually increasing the number of calories that you're consuming, and there's some other bad things that go along with it. Frying foods can lead to dangerous compounds forming, such as acrylamide, and of course, this comes up, especially when you're cooking meats in a deep fryer. And according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, acrylamide may have links to all types of cancer, and we're talking about breast cancer and prostate cancer. You don't want that for your family. No, you don't. The thing I like about the air fryer, first of all, is that it is smaller. So if you're at home by yourself, you wanna make yourself a good healthy snack, you don't have to eat, heat up a big old oven, taking up a whole bunch of energy and you putting it in a little bit of plate for yourself. And it uses convection air. That means it's moving hot air around and so it's more efficient. It is actually faster to warm it up and faster for it to cool down. And since it's blowing super hot air in a tight space, it helps cook the food faster. You get better browning and that crispy exterior that you really wanna get. And the other thing, since it cooks the food faster, it keeps the insides moist. So you know you're frying something, you have something in the oven and it just ends up being sort of weird. Well yeah, this knocks all those problems out of the way. So it's fast, convenient, energy efficient, and it is safer than deep frying. They have different size air fryers and they have different sizes that will accommodate one to two people per, per cooking cycle or uh, three to four or even larger. It really just depends in you know, how much counter space you have, how many people you have to serve. Now, there are a bunch of them on the market. I'm not here to do a comparison right now. The cool thing is they can fit on your countertop and they have a drawer that just slides out, put the food in, slide it back in, turn it on. <laughs> yeah, boy. And most of them come with a perforated bottom, so it has air space for the air to circulate, so you're not just heating up the top, you're also heating up the bottom. And of course, a bunch of them have preset buttons, so you can just go ahead and click, click. Unfortunately, most of the preset buttons, like the one that I have, uh, is all preset for me. And you know how this goes. Now, do remember, this is a oven. <laughs> <laughs> it does blow super hot air, so be careful. Uh, the one that I got does come with an oven mitt. At first I was like, what do you need an oven mitt for? Then, ouch, you need an oven mitt. Now, the cool thing is you can cook a whole host of things in there, but you don't wanna cook things that uh, have batter on them. So if you're using something with, uh, with a heavy batter on it, it'll slide down and it won't stick the way that it would in a normal fryer. 
but you know, there are ways around that. You can just deal with the seasonings on it. Love the seasonings. Couple of things to keep in mind, do not overcrowd the basket because you need space in there. You can use a little bit of oil, like a oil sprayer. You know, just spray a little oil on there. It's all good. You wanna go with uh, avocado oil or you wanna go with cold press light olive oil. And the reason why you want to cold press light olive oil because if you're using regular oil, it's too heavy and it'll brown it too fast. And of course, like I always say, season your food. Do not think that you're just supposed to season meat, man. Season it. <laughs> Vegetables? Yeah, of course you're gonna season those. So let me go ahead and give you a couple of, of ideas in terms of vegan recipes you can use in the air fryer. We're talking about vegan jalapeno cornbread, kale chips, cauliflower buffalo wings, toquitos, salt and vinegar chickpeas, roasted bananas. I tried that one. You would, you'd be surprised. Roasted bananas, oh, it's actually very good. And spiced chickpeas. That's just a short list. It's called the internet. Hop online, get your menu on, man. All right, it's time to get cooking. We're going today with some uh, sweet potato fries. Mm-hmm. And just on the side, we're gonna do some broccoli and we're gonna do some cauliflower, just seasoning them up. All right, so this is the drawer. Yeah grill inside here to get it warmed up. We're gonna change the temperature right here and just starting off, this allows it to warm up. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do with the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna cut off the ends right here, but uh, basically we're making sweet potato fries. So with sweet potato fries, we really wanna cut off the, uh, cut it straight down the middle and then you can start slicing and dicing to whatever size uh, you want to see that. Excuse me, my knife game I ain't shanked anybody in a while. Yes, indeed. So the thing about sweet potatoes is that you want to uh, have these every once in a while. You don't want to uh, have too much of anything too sweet, but sweet potatoes are very filling, sweet and nutritious. So obviously you have to cook them because they're potatoes and they have a hell of a lot of starch, but when it comes down to it, just get it cut. Just get it cut, whatever size works for you. Obviously, the smaller the size, uh, the easier it is to cut. Uh, and just for those people who are out there wondering, I am not a pro with the knife. Um, so I know some chefs are looking, oh my God, you're gonna lose a finger. Not today. Not today, you know. Need my fingers for other things. <laughs> yeah, boy. But you get the idea. Cut them up, cut them up. You got some larger pieces, you can cut those down. It's on you, it's on you. Whatever you want to see done, get her done. Get her done. There we go. Okay. So basically what you want to do is take these, put them into a bowl just so you can add, this is straight up olive oil. You can spray it on in here, get yourself a spray, Amazon, pretty easy. So what you're doing, uh, you wanna use avocado oil on these that have a little bit of olive oil on here. So you just, you know, it gives it a little brownness to it. You can add some salt, I got some sea salt on this. Um, you know, just a little bit, this is this is sort of chunky, <laughs> but definitely you wanna get the cinnamon in there. That makes a huge difference. Cinnamon toast crunch on this. Uh, and you know, you can add other herbs in there. I'm gonna go with sage. It's up to you, just what your flavoring is, what your, your spice delivery is for your tongue. Get it in some, and then you're done, all right. Then, very simple, very easy. Straight to it. If you want to throw a little bit more up in there just to make sure. Woo! Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's hot. And then, we're ready to pop it in. All right, so what we're going to do, pull this out. This is hot. Reminder, this is hot. It's called an oven. Air fryer. 
Yes, indeed. So, you got it in there. This simple. Nice. This simple. Ah uh, yeah, the air fry made it do what it do. Play oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, so of course you gotta have the taste. Uh mm. 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 Won't he do it? Mm. Won't the air fry do it? Mm. Yeah, name. Mm. Uh. Ah! Hey, dance on the oh! You don't even know. Mm. Somebody line. I need a line of mamas. I need a line of mamas. Start smacking them. Mm, that's good. Hey fellas, when it comes down to it, the air fryer gives you the ability to cook and be creative with that grown man's grocery list. It's faster, easier, less mess, less stress. And of course, most importantly, it tastes good and it helps you get up and stay up. And of course, the question of the day, um, have you used the air fryer? Have you used it for the live foods of some fruits and vegetables up in there? Let us know in the comment section below. And even if you haven't, will you try it? Hey, I know you can just hop on Amazon. It's around 70 bucks. It's going to save you a lot of time, energy. You're going to save money in the long run. And of course, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit the like button, the comment button, and the notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.